Hey, I want to talk to you guys today about the amount of effort that it takes to knock something down, to get an answer, to get a reply, to get on radio. I emailed a guy last night. I emailed him again this morning. And I encouraged my wife to follow up with someone who she emailed two days ago. And I said, follow up with him again right now. And guess what? She got a reply. And I was like, I told you, right? And it inspired me to now send another email to someone to follow up with them. Because you understand the squeaky wheel gets the grease. When you're top of the inbox, you're top of mind. When you're the top of their voicemail, you're the top of their mind. And you got to show that you really want it. You know, we underestimate as artists how many, how much work it takes, right? I've talked about how when I used to book tours, I would send 50 emails to get five replies to book two shows, right? And then I would layer it up with phone calls. I would layer it up with emails, right? Like this is the same thing like with my kickstarts. Right, like and getting people to promote a new album. Like I would send another email and send another email, right? I do another post, do another post, do another Instagram live, do another YouTube live. Like like it takes ten times more effort than you think it is to get this done. Like it's the same thing where like we're right now we're spending I think two hundred and fifty a day, two hundred and thirty a day on uh, Facebook Instagram ads. I'm hoping to get that up to five hundred and eight and eight hundred. But like if I want to see the, the difference in the impact I really want to make, it requires millions of impressions, not 5,000 or a few hundred. It takes thousands, millions of people seeing something, right? And so what I really got inspired by was a, a dude named Grant Cardone. He's one of my mentors. And he said in his video the other day that really inspired me. His wife was like, how many times are you going to call that guy? Because she... I think he, she saw him call this one dude like 12 times in a week. And he's like, I'm going to call him until I get him on the phone. Like until I get a yes or a no or a go away. But you are going to recognize I'm here. I'm knocking on your door. Even the Bible says, I forget what verse it is, but it said, it talks about how there's a man that kept on knocking his door. And he's like, you know what? Not because you're my friend, not because you're this, but because you're constant persistence and nagging, I'm going to respond and I'm going to give you what you want. Now, I'm not talking about being rude. You got to be professional. You want to be short. You want to be sweet. Hey, John. Uh, hey, Mike, whatever the person's name is. Hey, Melissa. Just wanted to follow up. Make sure you saw this email. Would love to see what you think of the song. And, and maybe you give a little update about it, right? Like when I would follow up with managers, when I'd follow up with booking agents, I'd be like, hey, the song's now got 150,000 streams. Hey, the video now, we have a million subscribers. Hey, guess what? We're actually going to be in your city next week and would love to invite you. Hey, we just got off tour with this person. Now this is happening. Like you want to update people with, with, with new things and new happenings so it's not just the, the same old thing. But a lot of people are just saying, is this person serious about their career or are they just squawking at me? Like, do they really want it? Do they really care about their career? Because even, even for me in my industry, man, like, like music, TV, film, shows, doesn't matter. Music industry, same industry you're in. Um, there's a lot of squawkers and people that'll be there for a little bit, but then they're gone, right? They're, they're gone. And, and they're, they're not serious. They're not there for the long term. So you need to show that you're serious, that you're professional, you're polite, that you got the goods, that you respond on time, right? Like all these things matter, guys, all right? The next 10X Your Fan Base Challenge is May 23rd. Go to 10XYourFanBase.com forward slash live challenge. I'm going to be going live for five days straight from 11 to 1 p.m., right? 11 to 12 is the VIP where you get to ask me any questions over video chat, over Zoom. It's going to be awesome. And then the 12 to 1 is going to be the training. Where we're going to be showing, talking about Spotify, how I hit a million monthly listeners. We're going to be building your email list, running Facebook, Instagram ads, uh, monetizing your, 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 your brand with merch, print on demand. So much cool stuff. It's one of the best trainings I've done. Um, you get access to a private Facebook group and it's going to be locked. It's going to be loaded and so much fun. But the real action, and so go to 10xyourfanbase.com forward slash live challenge. Sign up there. But who do you need to follow up with? 
Who do you need to call? Who do you need to email? It might not even have anything to do with your music career right now. It might be you getting a job or you chasing the girl, getting the getting the guy, whatever it is, you know? If you're a girl, you're trying to meet with whoever it is, right? Like hunt it down. You got to be hungry. You got to want this. Show them that you want it. Show them that you want it more badly than the other artists, right? Like I've got goals and I'm going to write down, I got my new whiteboard in here, put it against the wall here. And I'm going to start knocking those goals down. There's some big artists I want to work with, some people I want to make some moves this year. Well, I got to send some emails, you know, I got to, I got to write some songs. I got to make some moves. Action fuels success. I look forward to seeing you on the challenge. Leave a comment. Let me know what action you're going to take and that these videos helped you out.